The City of Quero wants to keep you informed. Here is a recap of the November City Council meeting. The meeting opened with the invocation led by City Attorney James Crane, and the pledge to the American flag and the Texas flag was led by Councilman Emil Garza. With no public comments, presentations, or recognitions, the City Council moved on to resolutions. Quero City Council conducted the first reading of a resolution to approve Quero Development Corporation to provide funds exceeding $10,000 for the Chisholm Trail Museum. The Quero Development Corporation Director Maggie Cromines presented more detail on the proposal for the People's Park, which is located adjacent to the Chisholm Trail Museum. Councilman Mitch Adams moved to adopt the resolution, and Mr. Mathis seconded. Motion carried unanimously. Council also discussed and had the first reading for approving the use of funds for the Quero Chamber of Commerce project and for Quero Development Corporation project, each exceeding $10,000. Quero Development Corporation was approached to be a line of credit for an EDA grant that, if awarded, will award up to $1 million that the Quero Chamber can utilize to renovate their new building. CDC will extend the credit and be reimbursed by the grant as expenses are incurred. Councilman Garza moved to adopt the resolution, Councilman Glover seconded, and it passed unanimously. Next, Maggie Cromine shared the two-year plan to install speakers in the Quero Municipal Park. This will enable those visiting Christmas in the park to hear music throughout their visit. It will be used by other entities utilizing the park, such as Turkey Fest. She shared that $35,000 covers half which the CDC will support and the speakers will be up and utilized in 2023. The resolution passed unanimously. The next four resolutions, which all council was in favor for and passed, covered the following. First, a resolution to appoint animal control officers as the local rabies control authority, which according to Quero Police Chief Jay Lewis will require additional training. Next, council reviewed and accepted an RFQ for engineering services with Urban Engineering and made recommendations for $1.1 million contract, which Ramey Zella, Quero City Manager, will negotiate the contract, getting the engineer hired on and will be back with contracts as part of the two-step process. Next, council approved the bid for 50,000 gallon storage tank painting bid for the two water towers in Quero. Wayne Berger with the City of Quero explained they received six bids for this work and BRZ Coding received the bid. Last, Council approved a donation of a 2006 Wells Fargo utility wagon trailer to Quero Regional Hospital. Billy Jordan with Quero Regional Hospital explained it will be used as a mobile emergency medical clinic in the City of Quero and in DeWitt County as a whole. Chief Lewis explained that the police department and the city have not utilized this trailer for a number of years, and the hospital district can better utilize the 22-foot trailer. Mr. Jordan chaired that the city of Quero and the city of Yoakum helped to renovate the trailer. Amherst also did a phenomenal job updating the trailer within two weeks and had it ready in time for Turkey Fest. The trailer will be utilized for grass fire rehab to allow first responders to cool off and can be used for active shooter events, as well as go to area schools for vaccine clinics. Two ordinances were read for the first time at the meeting. The first was on the closing of a portion of San Antonio Street, as well as portions of West Live Oak Street, West Courthouse Street, and Gazi Street. One question was raised from Councilman Adams inquiring if local authorities had received any complaints from neighbors near Amherst where these closures are located, Chief Lewis said no, and with all in favor, the motion carried. The next reading was an emergency reading of an ordinance, which is an agreement with GBEC to allow internet equipment to be placed on the water tower located at Park Heights Drive. All were in favor, and the motion carried. Next, there were several items for council to consider and take possible action, including a request from Quero Main Street Director to close streets for the Christmas in Downtown event held December 9th through 11th. Similar to years past, several streets in the downtown area will be closed during that weekend. Sandra Osmond shared a new event has been added on that Saturday from 2 to 10 p.m., which will be the West Main Teen Wonderland. The Teen Wonderland will include a mobile escape unit, cornhole, Connect Four, oversized Jenga, and more games. All businesses have been notified in these areas impacted by the street closures. All were in favor and the street closures were approved. A request to rename Old Cheapside Road was reviewed by Councilman Fuquay. 
He had visited with several residents on the road and many did not want to change the road name. After some discussion, City Council voted to keep the name as is. Next, Council discussed the location of a new outdoor fitness area to be located within Quero Municipal Park. Mr. Berger with the City of Quero shared the various locations that were considered and concerns about interfering with Christmas in the Park lighting displays. All three areas that were suggested would work, but the first option would be best, said Mr. Berger. It would put the new fitness court right by the old volleyball courts, which they can also utilize the lighting that is already in place. The other locations were discussed and option one was recommended. Mr. Garza made a motion to approve option one for the location. Mr. Adams seconded. The final vote was six in favor and one opposed. The mayor opposed the location because she felt the wall background for the fitness area was distracting and the area would be too crowded. Moving on, council reviewed changes proposed to the Quero Museum's board bylaws. Amber Fitz said the museum board voted to change the bylaws to allow five members to vote. The mayor recommended a rather set number of members for a quorum and to allow the majority to take action. James Crane, Quero City Attorney, will revise the bylaws and will coordinate with Ms. Fitz to add that information to the existing bylaws. A motion was put forward to postpone until the amendments are made by Mr. Mathis and Mr. Fuquay seconded. Council reviewed the City of Quero's 150th anniversary celebration plan and advertising cost. Emily Weatherly with Building Brands Marketing reviewed the advertising proposal and updated Council on the new website that will be developed, Quero150years.org, that will include the history of Quero, calendar of events, sign-up form to stay informed, sponsorship information, videos, and much more. Mayor Meyer questioned billing, and Ms. Weatherly said it is to be paid as services are rendered each month. Amber Fitz shared the promotional products that will be ordered for the city's 150th anniversary, and Mayor Meyer suggested she come back in December with a list of events and final quantity and cost for each of the promotional items. Next, reports were shared with Council that included electric updates and the Main Street walkthrough update. Wayne Berger shared the electric report from the city of Quero. Quero electrical rates are significantly lower than the others listed on the Power to Choose website, particularly when compared with the Victoria area. He also analyzed GVEC rates and the city of Quero is very comparable. Building Brands Marketing will craft a press release to inform the public of this update. Mr. Berger also shared that per Weaver and Jacobs, the walkthrough should be complete by mid-December. The benches and irrigation have been installed. Aluminum work is currently being completed on the siding. Council noted that the project is taking longer than initially proposed. Mr. Berger explained it is a supply issue. It will be open for Christmas in downtown and will be used as a walkthrough, but no vendors will be located in that area. Under the consent agenda, Council reviewed October meeting minutes as well as monthly reports from the Building Department, Library, Municipal Court, and DeWitt County Appraisal District as well as appointed Michelle McCaskill to the Museum Board, Gilberto Esquivel to the Zoning Board of Adjustments, and Tamara Kaner to the Tree Board. The Mayor commended the Tree Board for the presentation last week. The Mayor shared the positive comments at the Tree Dedication Service. She shared it brought smiles and even a few tears to the attendees' faces. The Mayor asked Council to share possible nominations with the Tree Board for future tree dedications. Items of community interest closed out the meeting, and the focus was on the upcoming City of Quero holiday closures. City of Quero offices will be closed November 24th and 25th for Thanksgiving. Residential and commercial trash routes will be adjusted for the holiday, with Thursday and Friday routes running the following day. And the library will be closed all three days of the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. For the latest updates on the City of Quero, as well as council meeting agendas, minutes, and more, visit www.cityofquero.com.